Hi friends, this is Jim Dawes Selvas bringing you another chapter of the Foiling Fustion campaign from the Combat Mission, Fortress Italy series. In this battle, the fifth mission of this campaign, we still encounter elements of the Durham Light Infantry and 44th Royal Tank Regiment in opposition to the German 1st Paratroopers Division. So far, events have proved favorable to the Fallschirmjagers, who sustained their positions from a heavy attack by British infantry and tanks, and achieved some important targets during a counter-attack against the enemy. In this mission, unlike the previous episodes, the British forces are in a defensive position, and it's up to our troops to go to a more aggressive instance and attack towards our goals. There are three objectives, the two farms located at the southern end of the map, the closest one worth 2,000 points, and the second one worth 1,000 points. More important than these objectives will be the challenge of getting at least two trucks out of the south end of the map, out of the three we'll receive after 20 minutes of battle. These trucks are loaded with explosives and will serve to destroy the Primasol Bridge over the Semedo River, slowing the British 8th Army's progress along the east coast of Sicily, towards the strategic Straits of Messina, where they can halt the retreat of Axis forces. Towards mainland Italy. Without achieving this last objective, the mission will be considered a defeat. Bearing in mind that the enemy is consolidated in defensive positions, relying on the support of machine gun nests, armored units and their fearsome artillery, this task will be perhaps the most difficult we have ever participated in. Accordingly, we proceed to analyze the tactical options. Let's start on our right flank, where we have a road in a terrain depression that crosses the terrain in a north-south direction and joins the main road in the center of the map. This access avenue is discarded because throughout the route, the trucks will be exposed to attack by enemy forces on the right flank of this line, which we already know to be in that region. Another possible route would be the main road, which runs a direct line between our starting point and the primary objective. By this route, our transports would be reasonably protected until about halfway across the map, where they would be clearly exposed to fire from the farm and surrounding areas. This route is also discarded, as in addition to exposure to enemy fire, we assume that the enemy's defenses will be concentrated along this route, and we already have intel that armored units are already in the vicinity of this line. The third possibility would be the secondary route in the region of our left flank. This route runs across the entire map in a north-south direction, being protected on its flanks by an area of abundant vegetation, which will allow a limited line of fire to the enemy until a little beyond the area of the first farm, in the final third of the map.
Once the objectives and the path to be used have been defined, we will outline our strategy to achieve our objectives. With the reorganization of our troops, leaving as little garrison as possible to protect the right flank region, I will concentrate the available units on the left flank and in the center area of the map. Initially, the advance will move parallel to the secondary road within the forest area to detect and suppress the enemy forces located there. Once this stage is passed, we will be able to advance our convoy to the final third of the path where they will be relatively protected from enemy fire. Having succeeded in this advance and with the suppression of enemy forces in the area, I will initiate a diversionary attack in the central region of the map, with the intention of keeping the enemy engaged in that sector and avoiding the displacement of assets against the main attack. Once the objectives of this preparatory phase are reached, we will be able to make the final advance towards the objective of allowing the safe passage of our convoy destined for the destruction of the Primasol Bridge. The inventory of forces at our disposal shows that we are going to have the support of a company of paratroopers, somewhat depleted due to previous battles, located on our left flank which will have to deal with the initial advance and suppression of enemy forces in that region. We will also have three companies of pioneers deployed in the center of the battlefield and all along the right flank. These forces will be completely reorganized, sending all that do not seem necessary for the protection of the right flank to the central area. In addition, we will highlight all subgroups carrying anti-tank weapons to the front. Additionally, we will have an Italian rifle company, the Arditis, with their 45mm Brixia mortar supplement, great for suppressing enemy infantry. Further on, still in the central region, we will have a company of MG42 heavy machine guns that will support the enemy's suppression in that position. Italian forces deployed two platoons of Italian reconnaissance vehicles, the beautiful Viverti Sahariana, one available early in the battle and another after 20 minutes, escorting the convoy of trucks. As artillery support we will have access to 681mm mortars from the light support mortar section, and three more mortars, also 81mm, originally for battalion support, but which will be moved and will be under the command of the advanced observers unit. These units are found within the map. In addition to these units, we will have two 120mm units off the map. And last but not least, an advanced observer unit and two target reference points located in the objective area of the two farms south of the battlefield. With this we end the list of resources we will have to carry out the formidable task of slowing down the advance of the Allied forces in Sicily. The battle will start with visibility conditions limited to 300 meters, that will quickly improve in the course of the fight, which must be taken into account in the disposition of our units. We will have a light fog over the battlefield, the mild temperature on the marshy ground and little wind. Finally, 
in possession of the objectives to be achieved, our prepared tactical plan, the information regarding the resources at our disposal, and the general conditions of the terrain and climate, we can start the preparations and reorganization of our troops and start the battle, in which we await the achievement of objectives and the victory of this campaign, even knowing that not even the best of plans survive the harsh reality of battles. With this, Jim Dawes Selvas says goodbye once more and hopes to count on his audience in the continuation of this campaign. Stay well, stay safe and wear a mask. Namaste.